The Elephant Sanctuary south of Nashville is more than 2,000 acres of Ella Freedom. But for this resident named Tara, there's not enough room in Tennessee to escape the bad news she got recently. Certainly her whole demeanor changed. Rob Atkinson is the sanctuary CEO. She became more reserved, uh, quieter, she was depressed. A far cry from the Tara we'd met before. For nearly a decade, Tara had been best friends with a dog named Bella, a mutt who wandered onto the sanctuary grounds and into the heart of this gentle giant. Tara clearly loved her little dog, and Bella obviously bonded right back. Wow. They were so close, in fact, that when Bella got injured a few years ago and had to spend three weeks recuperating in the sanctuary office, guess who held vigil the entire time? 2,200 acres to roam free, and Tara just stood in the corner, waiting. The home video of their reunion shows how inseparable they'd become, and remained right to the end. A few days ago, sanctuary workers found Bella's body. By all indications, she'd been attacked by coyotes. Whether Tara witnessed it, tried to intervene, was too late, no one knows. All they do know is that where they found Bella right there. is not where she got attacked. There. Director of Elephant Husbandry, Steve Smith. When I looked around and saw there was no signs of an attack here, no blood, no tufts of hair, nothing. And Tara, on the underside of her trunk, had blood, like she picked up the body. Tara moved her? Tara moved her. Pretty amazing. Why here? Steve's theory is Tara carried Bella possibly a mile or more to bring her home. Whether it really happened that way or not, no one doubts Tara was that devoted. It, there's nothing we can do to take away her pain. The only ones who can help now are, are the elephants, and that is already happening. He says the elephants are spending more time with Tara and making gestures like giving her a portion of their food. Of, <laughs> of course, anyone who's lost a dog knows you can't eat your way out of the grief, as much as we might try. But still, nice to know at least Tara's not alone in this, and that compassion is more than just human.